All right, hey, Shalom Akiam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Kadash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, push this knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters, and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad, looking like the other nations, also the United States of America. What you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Heavenly Father named Yahweh, the one ignorantly called, called God or Jehovah, and they are so-called black men according to the Holy Scriptures. Okay, on the wake of what's going on in Israel, <clears throat> with this whole... Uh, John the Baptist was not in the truth. You know, we were we were taught that um John the Baptist slash Elijah was Abba Bivens coming back <clears throat> from the um in, in the nineteen uh sixties, the late nineteen um with well, nineteen sixty nine, nineteen seventy. And the ISUPK uh school that's on under the leadership of, of General General Yohanna, so to speak. Um, it's under a 501c3 charter and they're going to switch up the doctrine and um and uh something in the bible called reincarnation man that's all throughout the bible reincarnation when our lord and savior was on the scene they he spoke of this man coming back i mean that came and started a ministry before him during the roman empire also is written in the old testament that he was going to come back in these end times to restore all things unto the nation of Israel, man, which was this man, Elijah slash John the Baptist slash Elder Abba Bivens, because reincarnation is real, real in the scriptures. Re means back, incarnate means back in the flesh, man. Scripture clearly says the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophet, prophets. So if any, if your spirit has been chosen to be a prophet, that's what you're gonna be through the different generations. How many times the Heavenly Father wants you to come back to do his work, all right? But before I get um get into this topic, you have this one uh young man that was part of um <clears throat> Great Millstone at one point, whose real who name in the Hebrew was uh Yahweh Nah. Now he's on the dark side, man, at the bottom, with eyes UBK with his eyes covered, spewed madness, man. You know, um this young man was in our camp, Los Angeles camp, GMS Ancient of Days, a couple of years back. <clears throat> and yeah, he was all. Uh, I ain't gonna front, man. It was he was cool at one point, and um Satan hopped on this man, and um from from the head brother on down, we uh counsel you know counsel this man on, on various different topics until the heavenly father had enough and he got suspended, and he bucked up against the suspension, and that's when he be, um began to camp hop, but before that he was uh switching up the doctrine. This young man was switching up the doctrine within the ranks, um told one of the brothers that he believed he's King David almost had two of the brothers in the camp briefly mentioned these brothers names the brother Dawada the brother Mike Allah they almost got killed behind this guy and this and this nonsense that was going on with him in his household so, you know what I'm saying the brothers went to help him out with his uh situation he was dealing with in his household and you know, some gangsters was calling on this guy man and the brothers had to uh drive off because they were about to get shot because because of this guy and those are the you know Many other things I could go into, but you know, just to just to let you brothers know, he was on the right path through Great Millstone, and um, the guy guy got puffed up, started bucking up against the leadership, couldn't handle rebuke, couldn't handle reproof, and this is where he at, man. And he's um, and this guy knows better, man. He knows better. At one point, he stopped watching the elders, talking about he's gonna read for himself. This guy's young, man, very young when he came in, man. And um, Satan hopped on this man, you know. Thought he was something that he, he wasn't. So, so he hey, we through the spirit, man. You know the brother Mwatazag is a very um kind-hearted brother, laid-back brother. So, I'm the more the fiery type individual, you know. And um, but that's the balance. So love was shown to this man over here in this camp. And you and if you say anything else, you you're a goddamn lie. So, and uh, another crazy um another crazy incident. You got one of the brothers in the camp kicked out, man. And we you believe him in the, in the story. And um, another brother witnessed against it, which, you know, it was, that was a trial in that brother's fate. But the Mosai restored that brother. I ain't going to put the brother business out there because of you, man. 
because of you and your lies and your and, and your deception. You know, now most I got you in the dark side, man. And I, I don't feel sorry for you, man. So I'm going to give one scripture, man. And this ain't going to be the topic. Unstable, man. Unstable. Um, Yeah. Yeah, James 1 and 8, a double mind is unstable in all his way, ways, man. All right? Yeah, unstable in all his ways, man. This guy was a very unstable individual, man. You know, he's, he's a very young man. And um, Jake, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 learn a few precepts and they think they're on the level and they're not, man. You know, and that's, that's a valuable lesson for all of us. Unstable means restless, unstable things of that nature because when he um he he uh got put on suspension he went to the shield of wisdom and i don't know what the hell happened over there they you know we saw him on the isubk but that's dead on that guy man so let's get into this whole john the baptist thing him not being in the truth and um and that that, that was that madness man this is all uh, malachi chapter four verse five it says behold i will send you elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, man. <clears throat> and, and the Lord spoke on Elijah being John the Baptist. You understand? Is it uh, Matthews 11? <clears throat> All right. Verse 11 says, Verily, I see, in the red, this is this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It said, Verily, I say unto you, among them there are born of women, there had not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Not when, notwithstanding, he that is that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and violent taken by force. So this dealing with uh, <clears throat> the Roman Empire bringing hell upon the nation of Israel, mainly in, uh, in 70 AD. For all the prophets and the law prophesy until John. And if he he were if and if he will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that had an ears, let him hear. He that had ears to hear, let him hear. You understand? So that was Elijah the prophet coming back as John the Baptist, who was in the truth. And he's he's spoken of in um <clears throat> in Revelations uh I believe it's in uh hold on man. I want to mess this up. Between him and uh, Moses, I think Revelation 12. No, Revelation 11, I believe. Yeah, Revelation 11 um, and 3, it says, I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand, two hundred and three score days, clothes, and sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before God, God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, Fire proceed out of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. So when did this happen? Um, Elijah was able to call fire down from heaven and to destroy his enemies, man. Second Kings 1 and 10. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee in thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him in his 50. Also, he went... Also, he sent unto him another captain of 50 with his 50. And he answered and said unto them, O men of God, thus had the king said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, and If a man, and, and if I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee in, that 50, in thy 50. And the fire of the most side came down from heaven and consumed him in his 50. So that's what that's talking about, man. All right. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn it into blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And that's dealing with Moses. So this is dealing with Moses and Elijah. Okay. And when, and they, and when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottom of his pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And, and um, this, 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 uh, that B system really formulated now, man, in this time frame we live in, man. 
And some of us will die for the faith. So that man came back in his time frame and he died in the faith. You understand? He got murdered, man. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, means crossed out. So that's dealing with our time frame right now, man. Get this guy up out of here. John the Baptist, Elijah, was in the truth, man. And he got put to death back there by the Roman Empire. And he, he died, um, the apostles and elders saying the Muslims um, beat him up. And he died, man. Went, out, went out another harsh way. So, so what the hell are you guys talking about? You're, you're unlearned, man. Okay. Let's go back to uh, where, where was I? Malachi 4. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh, man. And when he came on the scene, he spoke, hey, man, the prophecies of who the tribes are and various other things, man. You know, before I get that, uh, one more scripture I'm going to pull out. All right, this is um, Matthew chapter 17, verse 10. And the disciples asked him, saying, When then say the scribes that Elias uh, must first come? And he was shy, answered and said unto him, Elias truly shall come, Salaki, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias has come already, and they knew him not. But have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understand that they spake unto, unto them of John the Baptist, man. So he came back. So back then, everything was not restored. When he came back, this time frame he pretty much broke down who the tribes are. And we, we're, we're being the Israelites. And they got passed on to um, High Priest Jaquab, El Amasha, High Priest Ariel. All the way down to our apostles and elders today, um, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabor, Apostle Rama, Apostle Rakal, all the way down, man. So that's a a, 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 and a horrendous statement you guys are making over here, over there, man. But that's what happens when you're under a 501c3 charter. You know, you start switching up the doctrine. So this is on Apostle Rhymelot page that you hear what the uh, the brother was saying, our, 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 our elder back in the days, man, when he came on the scene. So what the hell are you guys talking about, man? So, hey, man, like Pastor Har said, man, you want the full truth. This great millstone, you know. So giving all praises to Yahweh, by Shimei Awashai, by Shimri Kakwadash, Lord willing's edifying lesson unto the very elect and in Kwame Asherallah.